two days later. Was that a nightmare? It felt pretty real. Lum wasn't sure, but he decided to stay away from anvils for a while. Just in case. Well, uh, looks like it's going to be pretty difficult to stay away from anvils right now. But I commend you for trying. for someone who has an anvil for a head or an anvil fallen on his head either way <laughs> oh crap I have to be careful of that one right here I should hope so I think I can only use the hook claw on that yellow thing, that's why it doesn't always work. Yeah, there we go. Without limits is sealed at the top of this temple, away from the Dark Lord's reach. Well, in that case, I suppose we have to go check on it. Can I even do that? Yeah. I think the bomb may be much heavier, which makes it a bit more difficult to do the whole parkour, but I'll find a way. There we go. Oh. One of the signposts in this chamber lies. The chest on the left contains something perishable. The one on the right contains something dark. Well, it would be convenient if I could... I thought I only had to press it, but... This wasn't the right lever. Let me guess, it's going to crush me the moment I step out, isn't it? Wait, this one... Alright, it tells me this wasn't the right lever. I can interpret this two ways. One, it wasn't the right lever to access one of the chest, or this wasn't the right lever for this specific platform, in which case this would mean that this sign would be a lie. But I think, I think this sign is not a lie, so that means that this sign is a lie. So when it says that the chest on the right contains something dark, it is lying. So I must activate the one on the right. Well, I don't know what it contained, but it definitely crushed me. The dark stone influenced Lum to push the wrong lever, turning his body into a perfectly flat mat. Bad leverage. Ending 44. You couldn't let me feel clever about myself. No, you had to literally crush my hopes and dreams.